Under national income accounting, we come across terms like GDP and GNP, that is gross domestic product and gross national product. In this video, we will be talking about them. So far, we have already discussed topics of gross and net, goods and services. If you have not seen the video, I advise you to see them first because we will be using these terminologies here. So let us first talk about the GDP. It's the total value, that is the money value of final goods and services produced within the boundaries of a country in a given year, that is one year. For example, for tractor manufacturer, tractor would be his offered product and for a teacher, teaching would be his offered service. And in calculation of GDP, we add the value of such products and services. So it tells us what is happening at the whole country level. Similarly, we have GNP, that is gross national product. The total money value of final goods and services produced within the boundaries of a country as well as outside in a given year by its nationals. Or simply can be represented by formula GDP plus net income from abroad. Net here means after necessary deductions. It includes trade balances, that is export minus imports, interest earned from external loans, that is interest earned minus interest paid, and private remittances, that is money sent from abroad. So here money sent from abroad minus money sent to abroad. When studying net income from abroad, especially for India, we have observed that the net balance has mostly been negative. For example, under trade balances, our imports are larger than exports. Under interest earned from external loans, our interest paid has been larger than interest earned, which means we have been a borrower. It is only under private remittances that is money transferred by its citizens to home country. We have seen a positive growth. But when we add all, we get net income from abroad as negative, as shown in the formula. Therefore, India's GNP is less than its GDP. To understand the difference between GDP and GNP, let's take India as an example. Concept of GDP basically focuses on what's happening within its borders and refers to income generated by a country's nationals and foreign nationals within India's borders. That is, GDP does not distinguish between income made by its nationals or foreign nationals within its borders. But GNP distinguishes between income made by its nationals and foreign nationals within its borders. In addition, GNP also accounts for income of Indians in abroad and not only Indians but Indian companies as well. Thus, GDP only accounts for income generated by products made within a country's border irrespective of origin and GNP accounts for income made by its national within or outside the boundary of a country. That was about GDP and GNP. I hope you have understood them. This video was brought to you by Synergy Study Point Pune. For more information, please visit our website www.upscmantra.com. You can also like us on Facebook Synergy S Point and subscribe to our YouTube channel Synergy Study Point. Thank you.